magic seed, magic seed, won't you grow for me, magic seed, magic seed, won't you grow Once upon a time, in a far away country, a boy called Sam lived with his mother and father. They were always shouting at each other. When they were angry, they threw things and even fought with each other. There was never a moment's peace and quiet in the house. They never said good morning to each other. Sam's mother would make all sorts of noises in the kitchen as she made breakfast. It took her a long time. Half the morning had passed before she had cooked the porridge. She would put it down on the table with a bang. It would spill and burn her hands. And so she would shout at the porridge. This made the porridge very unhappy. One day, the porridge was so unhappy that it boiled over with anger. Sam saw the porridge steaming, and he too lost his temper. You calm down, you horrible porridge, or I'll swallow you in one go! He shouted. But the porridge did not calm down. It went on steaming. Sam grabbed the bowl and took a mouthful. The porridge burned his tongue and his throat. You stupid horrible Sam porridge. felt as if he was on fire. He shouted at the porridge, just like his mother. When Sam's father saw this, he was very angry and shouted at the top of his voice, You're useless! Even the porridge won't listen to you! Now, just watch me! And he lifted up the bowl and threw it to the floor. The bowl was smashed to pieces, and the porridge splashed everywhere. Sam's mother was very angry. You fool! What did you say? That's our last bowl. What do we do now? In the middle of this quarrel, there was a knock on the door. The family was quiet. That's strange. Who could it be? Who could it be knocking on our door? Said Sam. Well, come on. Open the door. I'll open the door. Said Sam's father impatiently. There stood an old woman, her face lined with wrinkles and her back bent. She leaned on a stick and held a small bag in her hand. My friends, please could you give me a cup of water? She asked. She was out of breath and looked as if she had walked many miles. Some water? Why should I give you any water? What do I get? Said Sam's father impatiently, giving the old woman a mean, sidelong look. I've nothing to give you, sir. Only this magic seed. But maybe this seed will bring you good luck. Said the old woman. When Sam's mother heard that they were going to be given a present, she let the old woman in. Come, come. Let me see the seat. Let me see the seat. Let me see it. Let me see the seat. Let me see the seat. I will give you some water. 
said Sam. Believe it. I never lie to children, my dear. I always tell the truth. You are a good boy, so please get me some water. Said the old woman, and she sat down. Sam had never been called a good boy before. He went immediately to get some water, but he could not find a cup that wasn't chipped. For the first time in his life, Sam felt ashamed of the way they used their crockery. At last, he chose a cup with only the smallest of chips. Carefully, he took the water to the old woman. Here you are. Please have a drink. He said to her. Sam's mother and father could not believe their ears. Never before had they heard Sam speaking politely. When the old woman had finished her drink, she slowly opened her bag. She took out what looked like a small black stone. Here you are. This is the magic seed, she said to Sam. It will flower. When it flowers, you and your mother and father will find something that money cannot buy. How can we make it flower? How? How? Asked Sam. To make it flower, you will all have to look after it. Every morning you will have to get water from the well. You will have to be kind to it. Say the kindest words. You will have to sing to it. Sing the most beautiful songs. Then it will flower. And when it flowers, you will discover the best thing in the world. The most precious thing in the world. The old woman explained. Sam looked at the little black stone in his hands. What is the best thing? The most precious thing in the world? He asked. You'll know when the magic seed flowers. Come on, don't waste time. Let's go and plant it right now. Good idea, said his mother and father. Next morning, the three of them went to the well and brought back a bucket of water for the seed. But they could not think of kind things to say to the seed, and they were ashamed that they had never learned to speak kindly before. Then Sam remembered the words the old woman had spoken to him. He had liked that. So he spoke to the seed using those words. Please, be a good seed and grow up quickly, he said. It was a miracle. The seed opened up a bit and seemed to smile at him. Then Sam's mother said in the gentlest voice she could, Please, seed, be a good seed and grow up quickly. Now the seed seemed to be smiling so broadly it couldn't shut its mouth. Next, they had to think of a beautiful song to sing. But they didn't know any beautiful song. They were ashamed no. that they had never listened no. to any song. But just at that moment, in a tree nearby the house, some birds began their chorus. They listened and thought it was a beautiful song. Sam's father tried to learn the song by whistling. 
Sam and his mother joined in. They tried again and again, and the more they tried, the sweeter became the song. Seed was happy with the song and seemed to be dancing. As it danced, it sent out roots and then a stem. The roots reached down into the soil and the stem stretched up towards the sky. From that day, everything changed. The neighbors would see the family fetching water from the well. There were no quarrels only kind words and beautiful songs. <laughs> Many months later, Sam's mother was singing to herself in the kitchen as she made the porridge. The porridge was making happy, bubbling noises, almost as if it was trying to say something to her. All of a sudden, Sam and his father called excitedly. Come and look, the magic seed has a flower. It was another miracle. The flower was round like the moon, but with seven petals of different colors. When the sunlight shone on the petals, they seemed to change color. It looked as if the rainbow had come to life. Mother, look. Oh. It's so beautiful, said Sam's father. All our hard work has been useful. The old woman said, but when the magic seed flowered, we should have the best thing in the world, the most precious thing in the world, something that money cannot buy. What is it? Said Sam's mother. Sam looked round the room, deep in thought. Then he said, I know what it is. I think we have gained the best thing, the most precious thing in the world. We have discovered how to love each other. Magic seed, magic seed, magic seed. 